Last week, uh, a box of Magnum showed up on a day when Derek wasn't here, and when I opened it up, I was really surprised to find Magnums of 06 Fontodi uh, Chianti, the Classico. I was surprised is because all the 06 I thought was gone. Uh, we couldn't get any more of the 750s, and that happened to be a really, really, really good vintage and a great bottle of wine and something that we drank here at the store. So much so that, if you'll notice, I have a sign over here that I was saving my last two bottles of 06 Fontodi, and it was uh, could only be drank in case of emergency. So, um, so anyways, today we're going to see how the uh, 06 Chianti shows up, and if it shows well on the blind tasting, we're going to send out an e-blast on it as kind of the, the best single bottle that you can buy to collect over a long period of time. Um, so before everyone gets here today, we're going to uh, to set up the blind tasting. We'll see how it goes. That middle one sure is really good. Sure is. I like how it is. See, this drinks like how I think the Monte Virginia you would one with that. You want to take this wine? I mean, this is a good tasty Sangiovese. It's like what I, if I was like left to my own devices, I think this is a very nice bottle of wine. It's got some weight and concentration. It's a little on the modern side, definitely, because the fruit extraction is there. The oak is present. It's not like sort of dusty or anything like that, but it, it is it tastes very Italian to me. Um, acid is a three. Solid. Body is three. It's a three one. It's a three. Except the fruit is probably four. Tannins are maybe four. Sweetness is not applicable. The alcohol is a little high, so we can even say four if you want, just for the sake of making it, bumping it. It would age for a bit. We'll say two, 64 degrees, serving temperature, uh, you know. So grilled meats, hard cheeses, spicy food would be lost on this, so with delicate like fishes and things. Um, it's a dinner wine, take it anywhere with you. Sangiovese, cheap and expensive, similar wines, selling points is like, I don't know, this is like what people think when they think red wine, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tannin, wine. fruit, game, spice, oak. And the body, you're saying grilled meats, this with a slight bill of just like on top of the igloo cooler next to the grill when you're doing a steak in August. Just a little bit of that chill to it, bad of the steak. You like it? I do. Yeah, I really enjoy this. Yeah. It's excellent. About? I like it a lot. It's excellent fruit in the middle, so that all the acid and the tannins have something to refer to. Um, you know, it's centered on the fruit, but there are all these structural elements around it. It's very good wine. I like it a lot. It's like sub subtly, like herbaceous, with a bit of smokiness on the on yeah, the nose. And it's nice coming flavor. out a little bit. Yeah, coming out a little bit more, but very, very underlying. Like it's got this smoke. It's got this really cool. Like there's more to the smell than I than I found at first that I really like. Good wine. Yeah. It's just the 06 uh, Montsoni Cantus. Oh, that's good one. Singular component about the wine, I think even if you replay what people said, is that it's got very, very firm tannins. It's the one component that anyone would have singled out from a three to four. And there's more fruit, and maybe people push that. Plenty in. of fruit. But it's those tannins, I think. Yeah, you're right. There is plenty of tannin in the wine. There's right? a lot of tannin in a in So maybe, in maybe not ten years, but five years. Yeah. I mean, and I'm with you on that. I thought the tannins were full. Like my lips right now the are so dry. The tannin is the redeeming quality of but what sews hard. together. But they're not hard. Tannins. No, but they're wood tannins. They're firm wood tannins for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's not only a good wine, but it's a wine that's not around. Great producer, a producer we've had at the store, and it's the kind of wine that you could buy and and if you bought a case of Magnums and drink one a year for. You know, Are you selling it years. exclusively in Magnum now? Yeah, it's the only thing left. There's no more of it in the country. They, well, they, I can write up a Magnum. I can do a Magnum. No, I know. I've that's the, the whole point is that. And, the and Derek and I had an exchange on email last week that was like, if there was ever a wine I would buy a case of and hold for, you know, for myself to drink as a house wine over, was that the, you know, uh, that was good. like you talk at a barbecue. If you're, if you're up in... You know, at your house, and you want to have people over for a barbecue and drink out of Magnum, which is awesome. I and mean, there's not a better one. I mean, it's a seventy dollar Magnum that. It's only a seventy dollar Magnum. That's great. Yeah, it's thirty. Thirty. I think it's seventy. Maybe a little bit more. It's under eighty though. Well, I need to do that. And awesome. it's the kind of wine that you know you bought. You buy a case of mags, and it's a stellar wine.